Hey guys, Missy Kane here. So glad you're tuning in to Fit and Fun. We're going to have a great workout. And really one of the main reasons we're going to have such a fun workout is that I have a fun buddy on the show <laughs> that everybody knows in East Tennessee and beyond. Lori Tucker, <laughs> thanks for coming on. Hi, good morning. How are you? I am good. This um, is fun. Lori is a little busy all the time, and so I appreciate you coming over to East Tennessee PBS. Thanks for asking. I've been wanting to do this. I so. think you do a great job, and it's so important to do what, this, what, what you do every well, day. Work well, it in. Well, and um, Lori works, uh, tell everybody what you do, W-A-T-E. I'm news anchor at W-A-T-E, also reporter, mm -hmm. uh, very busy, get in there and, and hit the ground running every day. And, and do the four, and five, and six. I'm a mom <laughs> and a wife, very busy with uh -huh. that too. And start my day off, 4.30 in the morning, uh, working out. I know it. Lori looks great. Uh, Thank you. You've always liked, I remember you like to walk and all that, but, mm -hmm. um, and we've got pictures of you working and with your family. Yeah. Um, that, There's that's some a my fun. buds. Yeah. <laughs> Kristen's been on the show before. Yes. yes. Kristen's in great shape. Tears is in great shape. Yeah. We all, you know, it's, you're so busy. All of us are. <laughs> There's Bo. <laughs> yeah, hogging the selfie once again. <laughs> I love the people I work with, and we all have all made a, a concerted effort to get in shape. I like that one, too. We're Project all, grad. Turn, okay. Oh, you're very involved, I know, with uh, American Cancer Society been with that you do a lot of red cross mm -hmm. opera board i just love working with all those people this was that was don uh, dare in the middle there don yeah. dare in the middle and all of our crew dean littleton our gm in the back oh, yeah. <laughs> uh habitat for humanity right so we do team building things this mm -hmm. is special olympics oh yeah and you just met my um special olympian type of person pam my yes. cousin's here watching She's us today awesome yeah there's my dad with my daughters Great Kelsey picture. and Sarah. You look like one of the girls. I do you are one oh, of the girls. You're sweet. And I know your husband knows a lot of the crew here at East Tennessee PBS. He does. He's a camera guy, uh, just so talented. Mm -hmm. And he's with ESPN. Yeah. Has a great time. He's all over the place. He well, is. We're going to have some fun today. And what we're going to do is um, warm it up. And then we're going to do like some active weights, I call it. With also some core. Um, I'm kind of selfish, Lori, that I need. I don't do weights like I need to. <laughs> So we're, let's do big arm circles and warm it up here. We're, then we'll do a few yoga poses. You've done some yoga with your daughters, right? I have. We try to carve out time together, you know. They're pretty. I know that. I remember one time you did a modeling thing with both of them. Maybe it was American Heart Red Dress event. Yes. I think it was Red Dress. That's Vicky right. Fulmer That's been with her a while. And that was yes. Fun. Well. Lori is young. She's younger than me, but you have been in no. business for <laughs> no, no, Texas no, no, years. Yeah, no, no, years. No, 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 years. Started off in Little Rock, uh, one of my first jobs. Mm -hmm. Didn't do this beat, but I covered Bill Clinton when he was governor. Wow. So I got to know the Clintons pretty well. Uh -huh. And uh, then moved on to San Antonio, Texas. And you're at Texas, yeah. And was there for eight years. Started anchoring there at the NBC affiliate. Met Steve, had our girls, mm -hmm. moved to Houston, anchored weeknights there. And after about three years, we realized this is not where we want to raise our kids. Right. I oh, was yeah, just to eat, sleep, breathe. Right. The news, and right. I love the news, but we're gonna. I'm gonna balance. keep talking. We're gonna do a little bit of like a lunge stretch okay. um, with a little bit of a yoga thrown in there. Um, oh, that feels like good. You, a lot of people, of course, watch you know. Lori could have moved a bigger market, but I think a lot of people. We have good talent in the TV business here because well, people love it. Well, and they stay. Yeah. That, that's the thing. It's such a great market. Um, there's a lot of news here, and people stay. I mean, Matt Hinkin has been with you guys a long time, too. So over 25 years. He is a I've great been guy. here 23. So. Great guy. A lot of great people. I was next door, Lori, a couple of months ago um, at uh, Joy 620, a Christian station. Yes, and yes. He had a lunch and you had Matt there and you had uh, Todd Howard all these people together yeah. and they're all good buddies you know that's the thing we're all good buddies unless it's breaking news yeah now I'm holding my arm down a little bit I have oh, an yeah. injury yes so be doing, careful doing doing yoga of all things yes well and with weights I too. tweaked it yeah I did that I was telling I was doing a show and I did all this yoga and then I went and picked up something the wrong way and my back was out it's crazy so I think got it's the to. stretches and if yeah. you do it too far right uh, We're going to get a quick get water trouble. break over there. Okay. Little, I, that's what my big thing is. Um, a good friend of mine, Sharon Spazia, texted me yesterday reminding me, we both hike a lot. I do not drink enough water. 
And I know that. Yeah. And I think you've been better about it. I try. Uh, yesterday, I forgot my water bottle. <laughs> so I had to sip out of a Dixie cup all day at work, and I think I went through 10. But that's not enough. Grab a weight there. We're going to show people way. how we can warm up okay. with um. If you don't have a kettlebell at home, um, you can just use a weight. I'm going to have Lori use a weight, and we're going to show you. And you do your own rhythm with this, but basically you're just doing um, little bitty squats. And I don't let the um, weight or kettlebell come higher than my nose, back and forth. And you I will, love kettlebells. It really oh. warms you up quick. And you can get them at Target. They're, they're very reasonable. I was watching Dancing with the Stars last night on WATE, and I thought Lori was one of the first people on that show. <laughs> oh, local, my. The and local I, Dancing with the Stars. That was so much fun. Um, I was not in the shape I'm in right now. You so, have lost a lot of weight, a lot of inches. Well, I've lost a lot of inches, probably five 25 pounds yeah. over the last four years or so. Two more. Okay, but mainly it's about eating. I'm going to have you hold your weight, Okay. just have, have like it like this, this. and okay. all we're going to do is little bitty squats. So it's going to okay. go down and up, kind of a slow count, down, two. Lori was telling me, gang, and I need to um, follow suit, you've cut out a lot of things like sugar. Well, I'll tell you guys, uh, sugar, no gluten, so no flour. Oh, yeah. Um, no soy. And no dairy, which is easier to do cheat. now in like Food City where I go. You can find the, the areas with fat listed. Yes, right? and you can you can do clean eating. So basically, I keep it pretty simple. Four more. I change it up though. I think you shouldn't eat the same things all the time either. But a lean protein, a Two veggie, more. a couple of berries, mm -hmm. and I do that five times a day. See, that's the key. My daughter, yes. Kelsey, she has a Kelsey, too. Yes. But Kelsey says, Mom, you're skipping too many hours without food. Right. Keep almonds around. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do Just that. something little. One more set of the kettlebell. And um, I'm going to make Lori sweat. <laughs> but well, she I'm knows going the lights are hot now. <laughs> the lights are hot, too. <laughs> and your husband's with ESPN, and also he's been with Scripps for a long time, too. Yes, he finally right. stopped working there. He retired from Scripps. Right. A year and a half ago. So I get to see him more. Well, that's good because you have strange hours. Yes, I finally got off the 11 when he uh, changed his schedule so I could see him that's more. That's great. Yeah. And they were so great to work with me on that. Five more. I'll have to tell you a funny story about Dean Littleton in a second. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, now He's we're going to hold it again. Hold the weight wherever you want to and keep those elbows in kind of tight to your side here and then we're just going to go down and up a little bit quicker on this one dean littleton who's um gm over at wate was at uh, channel 10 back when i worked there and he was my photographer one time and i was doing yeah. a live shot and so you know it's supposed to be lively well i was doing the new fangled kites that you see uh -huh. and of course i get out to john charlton field no wind <laughs> Dean's looking at me like, Missy, what are we going to do? <laughs> so this guy was there that was making the kites, and I was interviewing, but my kite was falling. So I asked the guy that I was interviewing to hold the mic and keep talking, Yeah. and I ran around the field <laughs> because it would keep the the kite up, and Dean had to follow me. That is hysterical. So <laughs> Did you have him running? It was very lively, <laughs> but it was kind of crazy. Two more. <laughs> Hey, we do what we have to do <laughs> to make the story work, right? Got all the behind the scenes stuff. Oh. You could write a book. You should write That's a book. That's what people need to see, you know? Well, and you all show a little bit more of that now. Nowadays. We do with Facebook Live. I see We're you. behind the scenes every day at 4 o'clock. Uh -huh. And we have more fun with Bo Williams. Yeah. So <laughs> we cut it up a little bit. Well, Bo was on the same year. Um, Lori was on one of the first local Dance with the Stars. And Bo and I did it the same year. And man, he was excellent. Dude can dance. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Well, I know another team, too. We're going to go down to uh, two weights now. So grab two weights, one okay. weights. And you guys know that watch this often. I'm kind of crazy in that I kind of sometimes keep marching my feet because that way we're burning calories. Right. Keeping our heart rate up. Easy way to do that. So all the only thing we're going to do right now is just easy curls back and forth. Um, I was up at Fairfield Glade. I just got a letter today from... What an active group of people there. Fearful Glaze is oh, amazing. It is a great community. They're excited about WATE being part of them now with a tower. With the camera and everything. Yeah. We're so excited. So, like, Matt can do some of the weather or look up there. Yes. We can take it live, see what's going on. 
And those cameras are so helpful. Um, we've been able to get a lot of breaking news that way, too. Well, that just was a good area to put it in, Lori, because I was just amazed. Um, I did a hike up there uh, a few about a month ago, and yeah. 75 people. We split them up in groups. And wow. And there's a hiking club. They built 27 miles of trails. Nice. They are. They do geocaching. <laughs> <laughs> All these seventy-year-olds are doing geocaching. <laughs> it's so cool. It's really fun. About but you know, that's more. the thing about aging well. That's another reason I wanted to really ramp up my workouts and do more strength training for bone mass and exactly. you know, just feeling good. Yeah. And I, you know, even if people did uh, like twice a week, fifteen minutes, mm -hmm. if you did it every week, yes, it makes a difference. Consistency. We're going to kind of combine um, lunges. And just hold our weights for added, you know, it'll give us a little bit more as far as um, for okay. our bones. And our steps kind of move. So I'm going to show Lori and you guys first if you have one at home. If you don't, you can just exaggerate your step. All I'm going to do is hold my weight somewhere that you want to hold them. And we're going to take a lunge, push back, and then we're going to use the other foot. And you kind of have to be right in the middle of our steps. If they move, Lori will just put them back. Or do a longer lunge. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll feel these tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes my floor is very slippery, so you have to kind of get in the middle of it. Yeah. Come on up a little closer, and then we'll put your foot in the there middle of it. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> get your whole foot up there. That helps. Good job, everybody. See, now Lori must have better knees. I can't go down as far as she's going. Oh, come on now. I will be a knee, new knee candidate at some point. You're an inspiration to all of us. But I'm just hoping um, Dr. Naylor, a friend of mine with TOC, and then also... Dr. Ivy was on my show, and the way the knees and hips are going now, they're lasting a lot longer. Yeah, which is great. I try to be cognizant of that, because every now and then, you know, you get that little twinge. Oh, yeah. You guys are doing great. Oh, well, we need to keep our quads and hamstrings strong, because 60% of the strength of our knee is the muscle surrounding them. Last two, last one. We're gonna set these down for a second, a little water sip. And if you guys want to contact me, if you want any, I've got some hiking 101 information, a um, little pamphlet, and also some recipes for success. I need to get some of Lori's recipes in there. Because you've really changed how you're cooking and everything else. Oh, big time. You know? I use coconut oil right, and olive oil, and that's it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna, we're going to turn these around. I'm going to okay. do this just like Thank this you, for you. And then what we're going to do here now is... And I'm going to let her change it if it hurts her arm because she did too much yesterday. Um, but we're going to do just planks for about 25 seconds. So okay. all we're going to do is hold this right here for about 25 seconds. And then we're going to do a back exercise in between and then come back up. And planks we can really go work, down here too, yeah. right? Yeah, they can, you can I go love down. planks. Yeah, Lori's even doing it a harder way. So you guys could go down with Lori or keep it up. I even tell some of the folks if you're... A little bit older and you want to go against your kitchen countertop they could even do that oh, that's a good idea you know. 10 more seconds guys you're doing great Whew. five four three two one all fours and what we're going to do Lori, i'd like to do this for my back so it's opposite arm and leg okay and we just kind of try to find a little bit of a balance for a couple seconds and mm -hmm. then go back and forth we don't have to be at the same thing. It's kind of called the bird dog. <laughs> Opposite arm and leg. And two more of these. Good job. And then back to one more plank. 25 seconds. You guys can do it. Yay. I, know I sometimes that. do this when I watch TV. Okay. <laughs> you see here. I mean, I think with Lori, though, with you losing the weight and now you're so conscious of there's ways to fit in exercise. Right. Just little things here and there. You don't there. have to have an hour. No. Five. If you don't have an hour. Four, three, two, one. All fours on this one, we're going to do the cat cow. So it's kind of like a mad cat and then a flatten it out. This one feels so good. And flatten it out. Good job. I know that um, Chris. Kristen Far Farley, she was a runner at one time. I know she used to do a lot of races, And she, she still runs, okay. yes. And it's fun, you know, we anchor the six together and mm -hmm. we love that. And it's fun to talk about the different ways we achieve our goals. Because mm -hmm. I'm not a runner. Yeah, and I don't run anymore either. 
uh, cannot run anymore, so I don't do that anymore. So let's have a little water. We're okay. gonna grab our weights. I think um, when she came on, she was on Girls on the Run board, mm -hmm. and so we talked about Girls on the Run. Yeah. A good thing. And her daughter, she's really gotten her into running, and I think that's so important, too. Right. Is to keep your yes. whole family into it. Okay, we're going to grab some weights. You All grab right. your two. Now, I'm going to show you and Lori what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to one side only for about 10, then we'll switch sides. So it's going to look like this. I'm going to take a step out. Do a sh little bitty fly and then come back. So we're going to do the same okay. side all the time. Out and together. Good job. And I'm just doing a little kind of a mini fly. Yeah. How's your arm? Um, this side is still kind of Okay, well, strange. you just do your right side then. Okay. Do your right side only. I may like do that. that. Yeah. And if you have an injury, don't overdo yeah. it. But I think it's important to not stop moving either. Right. Well, you have so to. Well, adapt. it's like Lori and I were talking about. I don't. I can't run anymore. I can get out there and hike and bike, yeah. but I don't run. Even though I love to run, I don't run. I never developed that love, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> it was not a love affair. Well, it was a love-hate relationship. It's fun, but it kind of tears down <laughs> those joints. Two more. <laughs> Good job. Well, my first 5K. Back here, stretch out the hamstring a little Remember bit. Remember John Smart? Oh, yes. Oh, John Smart. He's a long-time attorney, heart. Tennessee, and just a senior Olympian. Wonderful man. Yeah. Uh, passed away not that long yeah, ago. A few years back, yep. But we always saw him at the 5Ks with his walker. His walker. And I heard a noise behind me, Missy. <laughs> and it was him gaining on me. <laughs> and I said, please, John, please don't beat me in my first 5K. And he just he was grinned. competitive. He was. He was competitive on that. He beat people, you know, gosh, 40 years younger than he right. and more. 60 years younger. Now, this one, I'm going to have Lori do this. I want you to do this on this one. You're going to go okay. to the side and do a hammer curl. Okay. okay. So you're going to do a hammer curl like this. And you keep going your hammer curl, and I'm going to go to the side. Okay. Perfect. I love that there are ways, different ways we can do things well, like to I, accommodate. I like, I mean, some people love Zumba, and I know yeah. some of my team has been to that, and I just have to change. I tell the teacher I can't do some of the hops you do that twist, Yeah. so I'll just change them, you know. <laughs> Well, that's the beauty of Zumba. You can kind of mm -hmm. keep up with it. Four more. And you were a dancer in high school? I was on the dance team, captain of the dance team my senior year. We called it the drill team back then. It would be today's oh, yeah. dance team. Let's set we had a good back. time. A little water break. Whew. Good job. Okay. We're going to come back and use our step. And we're gonna do a side plank. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do a slide plank. It's kind of for your oblique area here. And I'll have Lori follow me. So okay. we're gonna get down here and go on one hip. So you're gonna be facing me. And I'm gonna stack my feet like this. And um, all we're gonna do is lift up a little bit like this. See if that hurts your arm though. How's a that? little bit. Okay, how about this? You go like this. I want you to stay front. That would be perfect. You guys stay front. Okay. You stay front and okay. I'm gonna go side. I'll be glad when my arm is better because <laughs> side planks are so effective. Well, and I can't do some things too. I'm getting um, arthritis in my thumbs. So there's some oh, things really? I can't do with my Is that thumbs? A result of carpal tunnel or? And I thought it might be texting. Okay, take a little break in between. Kind of relax a second. Um, I thought it might be texting, but my thumb that's the worst is my non-texting. Really? Yes, my non-texting one is the worst. All right, 25 seconds more plank or okay. side plank. I was talking to a local scientist who said, this is kind of funny and kind of creepy. In uh, the next few generations, the thumbs will be longer. Oh, really? Yeah. Huh. Because of how we are as a society. Uh -huh. 10 seconds more. All I could think of was Dr. Seuss. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Good job, everybody. Yay. Take it on down. All right, let's get up and get those weights. Okay, now on this one, <clears throat> I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our upper body is gonna have our weights. Our lower body, we're gonna do back and forth. So we're gonna take a step back and then up here. Back, so we're doing reverse lunges. At the same time, I want you guys to act like you're holding papers underneath your armpits. <laughs> and we're just gonna push it back. And here, so you're really still holding that paper underneath your arm, squeezing tight to the sides, and we're working the tricep. Good. It's a muscle we don't use enough, so we're not gonna be flapping 
in the summer. You the know? bye bye arms. <laughs> the now dreaded how much weight have you lost, Lori? Because I'm um, uh, 25, it, but I've been a lot of quite a few sizes. I, uh, gosh, I haven't told anybody this. I'll tell you since you're a friend and we're amongst friends. <laughs> I had gotten up to a 12, and I'm now in a 2.4. Wow. Size See, that's two the jeans. thing with exercise, you know. I couldn't believe it. I thought I would never wear a two jean. Mm -hmm. So, last one. Okay, we're going to stretch a little bit like this and just hold it. Okay. And just hold those weights down here. And we can do kind of alternating hammer curls as we stretch. Good job. we got about five more minutes. This is flying by. Well, you know, and that's what I tell folks is that as busy moms, workers, sometimes mm -hmm. a 15-minute workout is better than none. It is. You're doing something. And we just did a story the other day. If you only have 10 minutes, do the high intensity, low intensity. Right. Tabata, they call it sometimes, mm -hmm. where it's like 20 seconds fast and 10 seconds rest. Yes. We're going to do another one of those um, reverse lunges. Okay. So remember the papers underneath our armpits, kind of. <laughs> and then we're going to push back and then step up. Good. Looking good. I hope I'm, I'm not even making Lori sweat that much. I'm yes, gonna... you are. Trust me. <laughs> and now I have to go to work. Yeah. If I'm glistening <laughs> on the air, you know why. Well, at least you're close. East Tennessee people, <laughs> where we film this, is pretty close to. It is. And this is, uh, what a great way to finish out the morning after a good workout this morning and then continue it here, doing different things. You're close to K-Brew now. Isn't that yes, a nice little coffee shop? Yes, I love K-Brew. Shout out to K-Brew. Y'all yes. are great. Such nice Two people. More. I can feel it. One more. Okay, now we're going to, I think I had, I'm going to switch legs because I'm going to stretch the other leg okay. out. And we're going to do those. This time, instead of doing hammer curls, we're just doing re regular bicep curls. Good job. Whew. When I tell folks, you know, at least three days a week if they're doing something aerobic, you know. Right. Hiking, biking, um, Zumba. And then at least two days a week, add some strength. Yes. You do more than that, though. I do. Um, and I have to give a shout out to my trainers, um, Scott and Michelle Williams and Jesse, who's uh -huh. with them now as well. That's really when I started learning about the importance of your nutrition. Right. And I've always known, you know, we get in a hurry yeah. and newsrooms are notorious for bad food. Oh, yeah. But what makes me feel really Too great more. is that my husband, who's always, you know, sneaking off to Crystal or wherever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last supportive. night we went to the grocery store, Earth Fair and Costco. Uh-huh. And we're reading labels. He's reading labels saying we can't get this because it has oh, this good. in it. Yeah. So it's great. Yeah. I do. Um, my kids do know I do New Val at Food City where you have the amount of, it's ranked 0 to 100. So they know if the cereal doesn't say at least 25, we can't get it. And Food City is great about that. They're another go-to. I, I need my reading glasses. So I have to. Yeah. Same here. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to cool it down now. We need to cool it down a little bit. So what I'm going to do now first is just kind of. Act like you're just kicking your fanny back and forth. And it's a way to cool down and kind of get those quads involved a little bit. I do not stretch my quads enough with the hiking and then I find myself really stiff. They get really tight. I've been trying to do a new stretch in the shower where I stand in the shower, put one foot back and stretch. Interesting. Because you know, we don't have time to do <laughs> A few more. I've caught myself trying to, you know, touch the floor in the shower. <laughs> And we're gonna put one foot up and <laughs> toe up and lean forward where you can feel it in your hamstrings a little bit. We can bring that arm back and stretch it just a tad. Good job. We need to get you set up with a good massage. That would be great. I had one the other night for my shoulder and it, it helped for about I a day. I believe in massage. I do too. Charles West, shout out to my buddy. Charles West is one of my neighbors. He's a great massage therapist. And Charles comes to my house. Oh, that's wonderful, So my sister Missy. was in town, and my sister said, do you think we can get Charles? So Charles came in, and my sister got a massage, and I did. That's awesome. So, well, if anyone wants it. any recipes, I know you have great recipes. Yeah, you have them listed, right? Um, Totality Fitness mm -hmm. has them, and they're on Facebook. Okay. So check that out, because a link. there are neat things like um, a turkey scramble that my husband loves. It has apples and raisins and cumin and all kinds of cinnamon and mm -hmm. it's just a wonderful easy 10 minute dish one more lunge like this try to get that calf stretched out in the back 
And we want to tell everybody thanks for tuning in to Fit and Fun uh, with Lori Tucker. This has been real exciting. This I really has appreciate been fun. it. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming it's on. It's always you good look to great. see you. Thank Other you, side, Missy. And remember, life is more fun when you're fit. Yes. You know? Amen. Fitting it all in. You can and do you it. And you can catch Lori, of course. Four, oh. five, and six oh. every day. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> See you guys out there and keep working out. If you need any information about fitness, you know where to find me. See you guys next time on Fit and Fun. Bye. Do a big stretch up. Yes.